Mission Specialist. I'm Jeremy Hansen. I'm a Mission Specialist. I'm Victor Glover. I'm the pilot. I'm Reed Wiseman. I'm the commander for the Artemis II mission to the moon. To the moon. To the moon. To the moon. There they are, the crew for the historic Artemis II mission, a mission that will see a Canadian participate in a lunar mission for the first time ever. That Canadian is Jeremy Hansen, and Jeremy, along with the rest of the Artemis II crew, join us this morning from our Ottawa studios. We couldn't be more happy to welcome you all here to TMS. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Thanks for having us. I'm really excited to bring my colleagues to Canada and have them here today and uh, share in this excitement. And uh, so great to have Reed, Victor, and Christina here. Well, uh, Jeremy, when we had you on TMS just a week or so ago, uh, when uh, your name and the names of your colleagues were uh, first announced, we were so excited, yes, just to have you, but uh, this is the first time we've had you all together, as you mentioned. Uh, I know it's still a long way away to launch, but uh, can you tell us, Jeremy, uh, what does this group, those sitting next to you there this morning, what do they already mean to you? Well. Uh, Reed and I were hired together as astronauts in 2009 and so we've been classmates for a, and working together for a long time and then Victor and Christina just came in the next class after us four years later. It's in 2013 so we're already pretty close. We've been working together as an office, as an astronaut corps for many years. I know these people really well. I have complete trust in them. That's really important. Like I actually know and value that trust in this uh, relationship and, uh, and they're also my friends. So it's pretty neat that I'll be going to the moon uh, with three friends. Reed, as we heard off the top in that little soundbite, you are the commander on this mission. You have been to space before, actually lived aboard the ISS for six months. What do you rank or value as most important in succeeding on this mission? Uh, well, first of all, you know, we have a, a lot of people around the world that are building this amazing spacecraft, the Orion spacecraft that we will live and work in, the Space Launch System, European Service Module. Uh, the equipment has to work. That's first and foremost. But for these four humans sitting here, uh, it really will boil down to how do we get along? And luckily, I'm flying with Victor, Christina, and Jeremy, three of the finest uh, astronauts and the finest people that I've ever met. Uh, there's a, a quick joke when you need it. There's a good laugh uh, if, if you want one. Uh, and then we lift each other up when we're down. So we call that expeditionary behavior. And to us, that's the critical component for humans surviving through this mission. Yes, never, ever undervalue or underrate the uh, well-timed joke when you need it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Victor, uh, you're uh, the pilot, and you've also been to space before, but uh, this mission obviously a little different. It's been more than 50 years since we have been this close to the moon. Can you talk to us a bit about what the objective is and how this might be setting the stage for future missions to Mars? Absolutely. I'll start with that part. We are setting the stage for humanity to go to Mars. A sustained presence responsibly around the moon, but then to get us onto Mars. It will be an Artemis something mission that takes humans to Mars. Uh, and we're all very aware of that. Everything we do is going to be making sure this vehicle is ready to dock to uh, and, and get people into another spacecraft that can land on the moon. Uh, but the, the objectives of this mission are to make sure that humans can live in Orion. So I love the way Jeremy puts it. We need to make sure that we can breathe for 10 days. We have to eat drink, exercise, use the bathroom, uh, and we'll, we'll get to fly the spaceship even manually. After our first lap around the planet, we'll take a, a much longer, a 24-hour orbit around Earth where we'll get to fly the spaceship and test out the systems that'll allow us to precisely dock to another spaceship that could take us to the moon surface or to a, a, a gateway that's orbiting the moon. And so those all, all those things have to work, and most important, we have to splash down successfully in the Pacific uh, to make sure that the objectives of the next mission can be accomplished. A lot of moving parts. Christina, you two are returning to space. In fact, you hold the record for the longest single space flight by a woman after having spent 328 days there. What are you most excited about? It's hard to think of something that I'm not excited about. I think everyone on this team is excited. Every single engineer that's been working this, every single mission support person that's been a part of this mission for so long, we're just as excited as they are to see this be successful and to lead to what's coming. Um, I'm excited about all the things Victor just mentioned, what we're going to be doing on this mission, the views that we're going to have, the perspective that we can hopefully bring back, the hopes, dreams, and aspirations that we're going to be bringing with us as we go that far and look back on 
on our earth, um, the things that we'll learn about ourselves, the benefits we'll bring back to earth. These are all things I'm excited about. But most of all, I think I'm excited for what this is going to show humanity, that when we come together internationally and with a diverse and inclusive team, when every single contribution is welcome, what we can accomplish. Well, it goes without saying, we are all excited, and it is such an honor to have all of you here with us on the morning show this morning. Uh, before we let you go, though, I mentioned we had Jeremy on when he was uh, yes. first announced a couple of weeks back here in our program. And, you know, afterwards, Jeremy, we're all saying, you remind us of someone. Who, who does Jeremy remind us of? It's just like such a striking resemblance. And, and then, oh, yeah, come up. Is, yeah. It, yeah. is it just us, Jeremy? Has anybody else pointed this out to you? Your, your kids, perhaps? I mean, are you, are you Buzz Lightyear come to life? Uh, yeah, you know where I'm going to go with this. No comment. Yeah, not, not interested, but thank you. I think. I'm not even sure. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you. We yeah. appreciate that. <laughs> well, as we mentioned a moment ago, don't un underestimate the value of a well-placed and time jump. Yeah, well-played, well-played. <laughs> you can take that joke with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeremy, Reed, Victor, Christina, thank you so much for joining us. And, of course, good luck. We'll be watching. Thank you. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.